Hey guys, you're watching Matt the Musketeer, and today I have some pretty exciting and pretty new Battlefield 4 news for you. Now, so far we only had one confirmed DLC name for Battlefield 4, and of course that was Battlefield 4 Drone Strike. We first heard about this quite some time ago now when we saw an image that was taken in the back of a retail store and leaked online that showed if you pre-order Battlefield 4, you will be getting Drone Strike with the game. So it's a very similar idea to Back to Karkand. Apparently it will be coming out very soon after the release of Battlefield 4 and it will be free for anybody who has pre-ordered Battlefield 4. Now since then we have heard other names that are possible names for DLCs with Battlefield 4. None of them are confirmed. A lot of these were seen on the EA questionnaire that was leaked online giving possible DLC names. But since then, today we have had a second confirmed DLC that will be coming out for Battlefield 4 called China Rising. Now this appeared today on the EA Origin online store and it does say that if you pre-order the deluxe edition of Battlefield 4 only through the Origin store, you will get the China Rising DLC expansion pack included. Now as well as this information, we have been shown this very pretty artwork of the China Rising DLC as well. Now this is the first DLC to show any type of artwork. The Drone Strike DLC has had nothing but its name confirmed so far. So this is the first imagery we have seen to do with any of the DLCs. Now at first glance, this image does look very similar to the other Battlefield 4 artwork that we have seen already. It shows the same character in a slightly different pose and at a slightly different angle to the other artwork we already have. But if we take a closer look at some of the details in this image, it does seem to reveal some potential new information. Now the first I want to mention, which is the least exciting, is the weapon in the soldier's hand. In the original poster, he did have the M39 rifle in his hand. That is now slung on the soldier's back, and he does have what looks like an M16 or an M4 assault rifle in his hand, with a suppressor and an underbarrel grenade launcher attached to the weapon. So. This is nothing new to the game, this is all weapons and features we can get in Battlefield 3 already. Now you could go out on a whim here and speculate that maybe in Battlefield 4 you'll have the opportunity to carry two primary weapons if you drop your secondary and pick up somebody else's primary weapon, because as you can see in this image he is carrying two primary weapons on himself. But as I said that's just speculation and probably isn't going to be the case. Now the more interesting piece of information to take away from this image is the aircraft flying above the soldier's head. Now I'm not too well informed on my planes but I'm pretty sure that is some type of bomber aircraft. It's definitely not some kind of fighter jet. It's way too large to be a fighter jet and it definitely isn't any of the jets that have featured in the Battlefield series so far. So maybe this is some kind of new aircraft in the game, maybe a Chinese or an American bomber aircraft that can be used in the game. So that's a kind of interesting new reveal that has been shown from this image. If any of you guys do know quite a bit about aircraft, feel free to tell me in the comment section below if you know what kind of aircraft that is. As I said, I'm not too well informed with that kind of stuff, but I'm pretty sure it's a bomber plane and I'm pretty sure it's something that hasn't featured in the Battlefield series so far, or at least definitely not in Battlefield 3. Now, as well as this image, the description that goes with this DLC does have some revealing information as well. Now, I will read this straight from the image from Origin. It says, Pre-order to get the Battlefield 4 China Rising expansion pack. Fight for dominance across the vast and majestic Chinese mainland in four massive maps, using all new vehicles and high-tech military equipment. So, as we've come to expect with all Battlefield DLCs so far, we will be getting four new maps with the China Rising DLC. I'm pretty sure it's safe to say we will be receiving four maps with pretty much all of the DLCs we see with Battlefield 4. And as we've come to expect with Battlefield 3, we will be receiving new vehicles with the DLC as well. Something we can't really speculate on yet as we don't really know which vehicles we will be getting with the base game of Battlefield 4 yet anyway. And finally, it describes playing on vast and majestic maps. Now, to be honest with you, if the maps weren't vast and majestic, I would be a little bit disappointed. Every Battlefield 3 DLC, apart from close quarters that we've had so far, has been pretty much vast and majestic, so that's nothing new to expect there. So that pretty much rounds up all the information I have currently available to tell you guys about the China Rising DLC for Battlefield 4 so far. If you guys have enjoyed this news and information, please give me a like and a comment below, it does help me out a lot. But in the meantime guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I will see you soon.